she's a full fellow Virgo like I. <laughs> so, you know, it's more to me. No, I'm joking. That's beyond that. It's Shaquay Quay, Shaquay Quay. Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. My name's Shaquita, Beauty with Qui here on Qui TV. Where over here we do beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. So if that's content that interests you, you may want to consider subscribing and clicking the dumb thumbs up button um, to rate my videos and comment down below um, some video suggestions that you might want to see on my channel. Because yeah, it's heavily saturated, but it's only one of Queen. Ooh, <laughs> that is a quote though. <laughs> that is a quote. Okay, you guys, so my face is nice and clarified. So what I'm going to do is put moisture back into my face using the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Whip Body Balm with Hyaluronic Acid. And I am just going to put this on my face because it is in dire need of some moisturizer oh, oh. <laughs> don't mind me so comment down below if you've seen i know it just came out today today is friday july 31st i was about to say 13 but um comment down below if you guys have already seen beyonce's black is king Oh my God, I swear, like, this person that she has involved into, I feel like at times it, like, encourages me to just, like, Shaquita, it's more to you, girl. Like, it is more to you than you know. And I, honestly, I do feel like there is more to me, like, I don't know, like... It's like I've always felt like something higher is calling me. But when I watch your stuff, I'm like, it is calling me. <laughs> I don't know if it's just the power of influence, but that's honestly how I feel. So when I watch her stuff, it's like I feel an unction like it's more to me. But then when I'm not watching her, then I'm like, girl, please, like... <laughs> This is May, and it's not, but <coughs> comment down below if you're the same way or if you feel the same way whenever you watch her. I usually do my brows first, but I think I want to do my face first, I think. Oh, and I also want to moisturize my face. I'm just going to use this, um... Wet and Wild Photo Focus Prime Serum. And then this is supposed to be very hydrating. And I want my skin to look nice, glowy, hydrated. All right, so now that I have a, that nice and deep up in there, I'm trying to think. I think I want to use this today. I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible foundation 24 hour fresh wear and i am using the shade 535 i know it has a color name but i don't know so, oh 535 espresso Ooh. so and it's got sunscreen in it uh spf 25 so it's very summer appropriate you see that that's what I want. That glowy skin. We're going to conceal twice. Because we want to look flawless. So I'm just going to go around my mouth. And this is just kind of like a reddish tone concealer. And this is the Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite Concealer in the shade C16. And I'm just putting this around my mouth and under my eyes because these are the darkest places of my face. And now I'm going with the other end of the sponge and just blending out 
making sure everything is well blended. Now, it's up to you if you want to color correct under the foundation or on top. It's up to you. I'm going to be honest. I get this technique from Jackie Aina, and I just love how her makeup looks. It always looks so flawless and just untraceable. You don't see any spots or anything peeking through. So that's why I am accustomed to now doing it this way. And don't forget to get this section right here. All right, so now it is time to highlight with concealer. Um, right now, you know, we look flat. We look like the same color, one dimensional. So to highlight, I'm gonna use the L16 Hour Camo Concealer in the shade Deep Cinnamon. And this is what I'm using to highlight. And of course, you're welcome to use whatever product makes you feel good. I just always feel the need to say that because sometimes, like, what may work, work for me, I don't know your skin, you know. I don't know if your combination of oily. I don't know if you're oily. I don't know if you're dry. So use whatever products that you have to achieve this look. And all I'm doing now is using the other end that I used to blend out my foundation. And I am just blending out the ends of that concealer. I'm not going over it, but just the where it blends out to, I am just using the other end, just going back and forth because how you blend out your concealer in your foundation will determine how your makeup turns out at the end. I'll make sure that you're blending. So next, what we are going to do is go ahead and set that concealer. And I'm using, of course, the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade Deep, 35 Deep. And you just want to look up so you can set those wrinkles, if you have any. Because when you look down, you know your face kind of like settles in a little bit. <music> And comment below if you watch Savannah Silver's YouTube or her channel because I love love when she says, um, you have to bronzify. No, how'd she say it? You got, we got to bronzify so we can catch Poppy's eye. <laughs> I love that because I be saying it at the same exact time she says it. Y'all got to watch her channel. Oh my god, she oh my god, she's a bum bum YouTuber. I love the way she does makeup. I love the energy of her channel. It's just so positive, so girly, so fun. I love it. And here lately she's been like, you know, touching on like life stuff and I've been liking that too. Then I'm gonna take my face powder, which is the Zuri Flawless Press Powder in the shade hot cocoa and all the areas we didn't set with powder we're gonna do that now and then you can gently go over the highlighted areas and i wish you could see but i'm like gently going over it and this just helps me prevent from getting flashback you see how well it blends up mm. girl it's like a porcelain Ooh. <laughs> what was that? So next, I am going to apply some blush using the Juvia's Saharan Volume 1 Blush Palette. For blush, I think I'm going to grab Neo and Toby. So now it's time for brows. I'm just going to kick it old school. And as a matter of fact, I think I'm going to do my brows off camera. So I'll be right back. There will be a second video with me reviewing the Juvia's Place lipstick and doing a fox eye, so stay tuned for part two. Okay, you guys, so this is the final look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and videos like this. If you did, then make sure you rate my videos. Comment down below what you liked about it. And I thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you on the next one. Bye. Mwah.